hey, welcome everyone to this last and final episode of the Amazon Files. I wanted to just express my eternal gratitude for all of the years, all 10 of the years that I have been able to teach and train and give tips and encouragement and inspiration and motivation for you and your Amazon stores and growing and scaling your Amazon business to what it is today and beyond. And I wanted to clear something up very quickly with everyone. There have been a lot of flood of emails and, and comments and all kinds of different things. And first of all, I really appreciate that from all of you. I appreciate all of the comments and the well wishes and everything that you've given me, but I wanted to clear something up for everyone. A lot of emails and questions and comments have been coming in about, is there something wrong with Amazon? Are the reason you're getting out because there's something's bad or there's things like that. And I just wanted to clarify again, that the reason I'm leaving Amazon has nothing to do with the success of Amazon or bundling or that Amazon's going in the tank and, and it's bad and it's saturated and all of these things. And a lot of people have asked many things. Does this mean that Amazon's dead? Does this mean that bundles are dead? Does this mean that this is all going into the tank? The answer is no. Amazon is still an amazing place to sell product and make a living. Amazon is still awesome and the largest global platform to sell products. Amazon is also amazing and still awesome to sell bundles. I'm still currently selling bundles. I have not left that part just yet. What I'm leaving is teaching and training on Amazon. There's so many people I want to help and so much that I've learned along the way and learned leaning more into coaching and leadership in other aspects of business, not specifically Amazon. And so that's really what I'm doing. I wanted to clarify that for anyone that had questions. Bundles are still going strong. I still have clients that are making over six figures on Amazon with wholesale bundling in today's date. This is March of 2024. So bundles are not dead. Amazon is not dead. None of these things are going away. The only thing I'm saying here is that this is my time to retire from this industry and broaden my horizons. It's a personal choice. It has nothing to do with whether, you know, oh my gosh, Amazon is tanking and I better get out before the getting's good. No, that's not what's happening here. And with that being said, I promised you guys a successor, a leader that's going to take over wholesale bundling and answer your questions and be your guide on Amazon. He's going to be teaching different things than I have been teaching, but he is going to take on wholesale bundles in a way that's going to help shepherd you in your journey. He's very familiar with Amazon, very familiar with the wholesale bundle system and how that all works. And although nothing can replace me. It's something that I wanted to put in place for you somewhere where you could go for your Amazon questions, for Amazon guidance, to grow and scale your businesses, which is exactly what I was here to do to help you. And I want to help so many more people in so many different capacities that I'm passing to torch. So my successor, someone I've chosen to help lead you guys in the right direction. I'm going to introduce you to him. We're going to have a little chat here. You're going to get to know him a little bit better. And at the end, you'll know exactly where to go and how to find him so that you can continue having a leader and a teacher and a coach that's going to help you grow and scale your Amazon business. So without further ado, let's meet him. Welcome, welcome, y'all. I want to introduce you to Todd Welsh of the Amazon Seller School. He is going to be the mommy income successor, the leader, the shepherd that's going to take over this flock. Welcome, Todd. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, for sure, Chris. And I appreciate you uh, putting your trust in me and glad to be on the show. Absolutely. I know we've worked together several different times over the years with affiliate stuff and different things. And I know you were heavy into wholesale. Let's introduce you to everyone and let everyone know how did you start uh, your Amazon journey? Because I know for a while you were doing so many other things and then you got into Amazon. So let's take us way back to what was your first career? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I guess I got started selling online when I was about 14 years old, which geez, now is 20 some years ago. And uh, I started with a, a little website where I built this website called Best Teen, which was like chat rooms and games and newsletters for teenagers, which I was at the time. And it didn't make a lot of money. It made 300 bucks a month, but it got my feet wet. And that's interested not bad in... for a teenager. Think about it. Yeah, You're doing for sure. stuff at home, making 300 bucks a week. That's 20 some years ago. That's pretty decent money for a teenager, huh? <laughs> 
Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. And those were the days where they were paying you like one or two dollars per email sign up for newsletters and stuff. So it was the Wild West days of the internet. And from there, I went on and I got degrees in computer programming, computer networking, and worked in that world for a while until I launched my own computer repair stores with my business partner. And we built that to have three retail locations and sold my shares of that to one of our employees. And they're still running those shops up there in Wisconsin. But I got out of that because I got interested in Amazon. And so started in the world of doing private label, had some failures in that and was doing, started doing retail arbitrage, which that went really good for me. I was selling a lot doing retail arbitrage, but of course that's hard to scale. So that kind of slowly shifted into the world of wholesale and selling other people's products. And that's where I've been for the last, I would say five, six years for sure. And I've been building that up from doing my own wholesale of selling other people's products. We've also uh, been doing a lot of wholesale bundles as well, and some private label products. And then also newly, we've been doing a lot of brand partnerships, which is helping brands sell their products on Amazon and optimizing their listings and all that fun stuff. So got a, quite a lot of experience uh, in Amazon. We This last year, we sold about four and a half million on Amazon doing all of that. Yeah, that's really awesome. I love how the journey reflects that. We always talk about the Amazon journey and how you mentioned a private label at first. And we always talk about how people are always starting there. Like here, it's all oh, the holy grail, just start at the top. But it's really important to build that foundation. And I love what you said even about our stories seem to be very parallel when it comes to those things, starting with retail arbitrage. And yes, that was super lucrative. And it was, that's how I made my first real money and got into this and thought, this is really a game changer. But the problem was 60 hours later each week when you're scaling the six figures and you're doing retail arbitrage it is a lot of of work and here in michigan mm -hmm. it was also a lot of work in the really crappy weather <laughs> and that became such a problem for me and that's when the wholesale again started and wholesale was another game changer in a sense of hey if we can get all these products retail if we can get some of them wholesale and, so, and doing some bundling. I know that you and I have met about five years ago or so around 2019, and we've done a couple yep. different episodes. And I know you've introduced uh, your audience to wholesale bundles. What was, uh, what's your... What was your, been your experience so far, even with doing bundling? Because I know a lot of a lot of my audience here are going to be like, but what about bundles? And I promised them that uh, there was going to be someone who had experience with bundles. So tell us a little bit about your bundling experience and how that's gone so far. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love bundles and I'm continuously trying to add more. So what I do a lot of times is with the wholesale companies or brand partnerships that we're working with, I'll take like some of their different products that have good combination or go well together. For example, one of the niches that I do a lot in is like fishing equipment and sporting goods and stuff like that. So we'll take multiple different baits that we know work well together and a fisherman is going to want, put them together in that bundle and resell those on Amazon, either under our brand. We sell a lot under our bundle brand, mm -hmm. but then sometimes we'll do that under the brand's brand as well. If we do like a partnership with them and get a UPC from them and everything as well as an option. But I really like selling under our own brand, obviously, because then we have that control of it all. But I've been doing bundling yeah, probably for about four or five years as well. It's just, it was a natural thing for me. I'm like, oh, I have this and I have this and these, and why don't I put them together and sell them? And it's just worked really well. The ROI is always a lot higher than regular wholesale, of course, as, and you can get your own private label product using other people's products, putting them together. 
Yeah, that's what I love it. That, that, that's the coined term from years ago. We changed it to wholesale bundle system. But in the very beginning, it was called poor man's private label because it was that early on beta testing. Let's put a couple of things together and see what happens. And always a whole, uh, bundles was born for me and how I came up with bundles and started doing them was because at wholesale was great, but there just wasn't a ton of meat on the bone unless you were selling something super expensive, like a vacuum where you're making like 80 or $90 per, but you're not selling as many of them, things like that. Vacuums are heavy and costly and take up a lot of storage space and you're losing your profit margin so quickly with bigger, more expensive products like that. So I'm like, how do us as sellers accommodate for ever growing Amazon fees and storage and all the kind of stuff like that, but also still be able to make money. And so that's why I've always loved bundles. And I know we've worked together on those um, for many years and lots of people are finally learning about bundles, which to me is crazy. I've been doing this for so long that I think, what do you mean you've never heard of bundles so there's so many people that still are new to bundling and don't really understand all the processes and all of that so what has been oh so that's just kind of your study experience now do you have do you use a prep center do you have a team like how does your structure work as far as your company goes sure so right now we have a, a 5,000 square foot warehouse here in tampa florida so that's what we're using now but before we had that we were in a prep center and even before that i was in my basement so had a, a steady progression and having the warehouse is, is nice because you can get your hands on the products and really see and feel them and package them properly the way you want them. It can be a pain sometimes to be running a warehouse, obviously. So not everyone's going to want to do that. So using a prep center or doing it in your basement is definitely an option as well. For sure. For sure. And what about, do you work with any other partners or is it just you running your operation with some employees? You have your own warehouse. So are you there a lot or do you have a warehouse manager that handles all that? Yeah, sure. So I'm the only owner of the business, but we have several employees. So in the warehouse, we've got two full-time people who prep and ship, and then a team of part-timers who flex in when we have a big shipments drop and stuff like that, or we get a backlog of stuff that needs to get received in. And then right now I have a team of about six people, six or seven people in the Philippines mm -hmm. who are doing product sourcing. And then also the optimization of the listings running PPC and things like that as well. Yeah. So you've really had, this is what I love about this. And you guys pay attention here because this is the kind of structure that I hope eventually everyone can maintain there. Is it like you have, you're as the owner and at first you start in the basement and you're doing all of your own prep and you're doing all this, but as we want to grow and scale businesses, there are things that we have to let go of. We have to let go of control. We have to let go of uh, allowing other people to touch our products and to fix our listings and to train them well. And and that says a lot about you as the leader of the business and the teaching and training that you need to do even to maintain at least 10 employees at this point. So mm -hmm. that's just super helpful in learning how to grow and scale that. So tell us a little bit about Amazon Seller School. What made you decide after all these years of doing Amazon yourself saying, I, I think I want to teach some of this stuff. What how did that come about? Sure. Yeah, it really just came down to wanting to give back because I learned from people like Scott Volker when he was teaching Amazon and I just wanted to give back and help other people really. And plus I enjoy teaching. I didn't mention it, but I actually worked or as an adjunct instructor for a college teaching some computer programming classes and networking and stuff like that. And so I've always enjoyed doing those kind of things. I like to help people how to do things, help them do things and stuff like that. So really just out of wanting to give back and enjoying instructing people and helping people. Yeah, for sure. I always feel like it's our, it's like our moral obligation that once we've learned something and figured something out that we ought to be sharing. That's part of our generosity is sharing what we have learned with other people. Cause if you just keep it to yourself and say, Hey, I figured this thing out and you don't let anybody know, how is that helping anyone else? It's the rising tide raises all the ships. I always think about it that way and figure if I can learn something and teach someone else, then they can have a come up as well and they can change their lives and figure out a way to do business. That's what I love about online 
business is that no matter where you're from, no matter what you're doing, what your background is, whether it's computer programming and things like that, or for me, just like the school of hard knocks. I've always been super frugal. We did not have a lot of means growing up. And so I had to get super creative about how to make money, how to keep it, how to use it, how to spend it properly so that I felt like I had both wants and needs, but I had to be very careful. And out of that came just a sense of, I hate using the word hustle, although I love using the word hustle in so many different ways. It sounds a little bit like backdoor alley, hustling people out of money, but mm -hmm. learning more to start where you are and use what you have. And I've always um, been that type of person. And so I just love that online business allows anybody from any state, region, any anything that you've been through, that if you can learn and you can follow some simple directions and have a little bit of money to invest into a business that you can literally grow it from nothing. I was a stay at home mom with a couple of really small children and like less than a hundred dollars. So it's like, my husband was like, okay, this is what we can afford to try to start buying some inventory. And I started with garage sales and books and things like that. And just built my Amazon empire to what it is today. Um, mm -hmm. Still going strong too, still selling bundles myself. I'm just stepping away from teaching Amazon to be able to uh, teach more. I've learned so many things over the past 10 years. And so I am just super excited to introduce you to our flocks. Can you tell everyone a little bit more about yourself? Do you have any hobbies? What's your family structure? Just get to know Todd. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. So I'm married uh, to my wife as Miley. We don't have any kids yet, but we're actually in the process of adoption. So that's pretty exciting. And hoping to have two or three children would be ideal. And I'm not getting any younger, so I've got to hurry up and get that done. But yeah, other than that, the hobbies and stuff, I am really into fishing, which is why I sell a lot of fishing products. I always recommend people, and I think you do as well, to work in a niche that you know, so that you can speak the language, speak the lingo of that niche and know what kind of goes together. So fishing, I really like hiking and camping. I'm really big into as well. Other than that, you probably might see the Star Wars stuff behind me here. Star Wars, my wife and I really like watching Friends and How I Met Your Mother and stuff <laughs> like that. So all good stuff. But other than that, Amazon obviously consumes a, a lot of my time and work. And I really enjoy selling on the Amazon platform and helping other people do the same. Awesome. I know there's just so much alignment in that. I know, I know we always, uh, we talk about friends as well. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I saw all the episodes about three times <laughs> over the yes. course of the last 20 some years. Grew up with friends in our coming of age years a little bit later and always some funny episodes. We are, we still out every day, like, how you doing? <laughs> all the time. That's <laughs> so the quote around here. Oh, how yes. you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't mention that we have three dogs and oh. two of them are, one's a Yorkie, one's like a terrier Yorkie mix. But the third one is a, a pit bull mix and her name is Phoebe and we named her after <laughs> Phoebe from the Friends show. So. I love Phoebe. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite episodes with Phoebe is like her and, and Rachel when they, they go running and Phoebe is just absolutely wild and running like crazy and yeah. Rachel's so embarrassed <laughs> and doesn't want to run with her. Oh my gosh, that would be me. I don't run for that reason because it's so ridiculous. I'm like, why run when you could walk? It just takes a lot less effort. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Not a runner myself, but I did love how you mentioned that you incorporated one of your hobbies and something so much about into your Amazon business. And I can't stress that enough. I've said that to so many people. They're like, I don't know what to sell. And they're looking for just widgets or someone that can just like type in some data and numbers and be like, sell this. But when you, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to bundles, if you have a knowledge of your customer and what they want and need and how they're going to use these products, it's so much easier to succeed with mm -hmm. bundles when you understand exactly exactly what that person behind the screen needs and what they need to combine in order to do what they're doing, whether it's fishing. I know I'm a cake decorator. And so there's a lot of bundles I've put together with cake decorating supplies, things that you need, things that you absolutely don't need, specific types of, if you're doing this kind of cake, you have this, if you have this kind of cake, you do that. And those bundles have been some of the most successful ones over the years, because I knew the customer so well that I knew exactly what their pain points were, their problems were, what they needed to solve with this particular product. There was one I remember creating that when you're making cake frosting, it has, it's 
is greasy for lack of a better word it has fat and oil in it in order for it to sustain itself mm -hmm. and when you're putting it on a decorative cake board if that cake board isn't grease proof then it soaks in and creates all these ugly oil stains like all over it and then you have this beautiful cake on this really ugly piece of cardboard <laughs> and they've started making some different ones with designs and things like that and those were really good sellers because the decorators knew exactly what i was talking about when i said grease proof no oil stains mm -hmm. they're like oh now we know what this is and i remember that was years ago one of the first bundles i made early on that really just the customer understood exactly what i was trying to show them these new products and these different combined um, products that they had for bundles and that was really just part of the success of some of the bundles that we did because we knew the customer so i'm so glad that you're leaning into your outdoorsy fishing and hiking and all those things and <laughs> Even RV and camping, there's so many products and so many bundles. I could go yes. on and on, I won't, but I really appreciate you taking the time to come here and introduce yourself. And I just wanna to speak to the audience for a second and just letting them know, letting you guys know that Todd is gonna to be here to lead you into the future of Amazon. He's uh, very versed in Amazon from Seller Central, from Wholesale, Private Label, he's done everything that I've done and probably way more and to a larger scale <laughs> than even I have. I didn't, I never wanted a business bigger than what I had. As a matter of fact, the last couple of years we scaled back a little bit because it got a little too big for us. And we just were like, no, we're okay with, you know, a little bit smaller. I think it's fun to reach certain milestones, but then you're like, have to evaluate what it is and what it's for. With us uh, taking a, a little bit of a breather, we're still selling on Amazon, but just in a small way and not teaching there. You guys, again, I wanted to thank you so much for all the years of you spending time with me at the Amazon Files. And I cannot wait for you to get to know Todd more. He's got social media. I'm not sure, what, why don't you tell everybody where you can be found and all the different uh, links that you have there and so that they can all get connected to start following all the content that you have. Yeah, for sure. So the website is just amazonseller.school. Amazonseller.school, you can get everything there, but you'll also be able to find me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I got a really good YouTube channel going and a podcast as well, which we are getting a, a good log of new episodes that are going to start coming out here soon. So we're going to be releasing the podcast every week talking about Amazon. Uh, but you can find me on any of those platforms and really looking forward to bringing your audience in. I think they'll get have a lot of familiar stuff that you've been teaching and hopefully some new stuff that they can learn as well. And we'll find things quite familiar, I think. And we're planning on bringing over your whole wholesale bundle system and everything as well. So looking forward to increasing the size of our family. Absolutely. And I love that you put it that way. This really truly is a family, a community of people. There's been many for, for a decade. I've spent time I was speaking and teaching about Amazon, and I'm so excited that everyone can come to you and just learn even more about Amazon with two different people. Then you have that. And for you guys that just missed that, Todd is going to be taking over all of my Amazon trainings, all the wholesale bundle system. Again, students, current students, you will have access to that when Todd gets it uh, set up in a system. Please be patient with us. These types of transitions take a lot of behind the scenes work, a lot of different transitions and everything like that. So although he will be available right away to maybe answer some questions, you can learn more from what he's offering. Please just be patient and stay tuned. You will have all of the access to all of your wholesale bundle system, all of the trainings, and don't forget the mommy income retirement package. I have one final chance for you to learn everything that I've ever done before we pass it over to Todd, where he's going to make it even more awesome. And he's going to teach you so many more things. He's going to lead you into the future of Amazon. So make sure you go to mommyincome.com forward slash retire. Last chance to learn from me before I pass it all to Todd. And he puts his stamp of amazingness on it for you. And thank you so much, Todd. Again, the website is amazonseller.school. And all right. of the links will be below this video. They'll be in the show notes. You'll be able to find everything and connected. And guess what? Students of the Wholesale Bundle System, Todd is going to be the new admin for the Facebook group. So if you have questions there, continue to ask your questions. I will be present for a couple more months as I'm transitioning into something else. I've got a lot to do in, in that area. So stay tuned for that. But make sure that you're following amazonseller.school plus following Todd on all of his things. The social media things will be here. You'll be able to connect with him on the Facebook group as well. And 
Thank you so much and welcome to, I wouldn't say welcome or the, to the beginning of the end of Mommy Income and your new new leader, Todd, thank you so much for being willing to welcome all of these people into your Amazon Seller School family. And I know that you will treat them really well. And I'm sending you all off with an, an amazing new teacher, instructor, leader, and person. And so thank you, Todd, so much for being able to accommodate all of this and bring it into the future. Absolutely, Kristen. I appreciate that. Again, I appreciate your trust in me and I'm looking forward to getting to know all of your students and everybody who's in the mommy income world and help you continue on your journey and build a, a profitable business, whether it's a side hustle or maybe you'll blow past me and be doing 10 million in five years from now. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Only you, your dreams are not limited. It's only about what you can learn and grow and scale. And I know I trust that you guys are in the right hands. So thank you, Todd, so much for being here and being part of this episode. And this is Kristen signing out. We'll stay tuned. Again, one more thing, kristenostrander.com. If you want to stay connected with me, I'm not revealing anything that I'm doing in the future just yet. So you'll have to just stay tuned. But if you're willing to, if you're willing to stay connected with me, it's kristenostrander.com. You can sign up for our newsletter there that taking a little bit of a break here. And when I come back, you'll see what I'm doing then. And again, from the bottom of my heart, y'all, I thank you so much for listening to the Amazon Files podcast. I know you could be anywhere else doing any other thing. And I don't take that for granted. Thank you for all of the time, all of the energy that you guys have all given me. And I wish you the best of luck and best of success moving forward. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time.